Hello to one and all, my name is Speedy, welcome in, and welcome back into another Speedy tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be installing the scene manager, um, version 2.3.3, and we're going to be installing the signs and barricades, 1.0, and it is going to be a DLC pack, so we are going to need our open IV and our, um, main directory so come down here and go ahead and open up your open 4 go ahead and click on the grand theft auto 5 for windows go ahead and click on that and while that is loading up after that gets done loaded go ahead and minimize your open 4 and come down here to your uh, main directory and if you go down here to your file explorer if you right click on it and right, and if you got it pinned to quick access, it should be right along in here somewhere. Mine's going to be right there. Go ahead and click on that, and that is your main directory to your Grand Theft Auto 5. If you guys want to do it the hard way, come down here, click on your file explorer, bring bring up your uh, home the home page here, and then click whatever drive you got it in. Mine's going to be in C, Programs, file, Files Times 86. And then go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and if you want over here to get pinned to Quick Access, click on that Grand Theft Auto 5 one time, and then right click on it, and go up here where it says Pin to Quick Access, and if you click on that, it should be over here on the left hand side, and then it should look like a bobby pin, or a pin, or a push pin, or some type of pin. And once you get done doing that, go ahead and click on the Grand Theft Auto 5, and that also bring you into your uh, main directory. All right, let's go ahead and open up the first link down below, which is going to be called the Scene Manager 2.3.3 by Rich and PNW Parts Fan. So, um. The last time this here was updated, it was submitted of May 25th of 2020, and it was updated on August 3rd, 2021, but it still works for the current version of 3028. Now, while you're down here, all right, this is a recommended mod, all right, this is a recommended mod right here, and it says Traffic and Size Barricades Pack. You can get the L L M L or you can get the DLC. And it's and according to this, it's also 5M ready. So this is what we're gonna be downloading to. So I'm gonna leave both of these links down in the link description down below. Or if you see this right here, you can just click on download this file and then and then it should take you right into this right here. But um but let's go ahead and do this first here. Let's go back up here to the scene manager. Go ahead and download this file and agree to download. And you need the scene manager 2.3.3 RAR is the main files. Go ahead and go ahead and download it. And then after you get done download, downloading it, go ahead and click the next link down below. Or go ahead and click that link down there. That will take you right in to the traffic signs and barricades pack um 1.0 and go ahead and last time this was updated was december 6th of 2020 but it was published on so it was published one time and not been updated anymore but it still works for the current version of 3028 go ahead and Download this file, and then what you need out of here is the Signs and Barricades uh, 1.0 DLC, DLC. Go ahead and go ahead and download it, and then let it let it count down, let it download, and then I recommend to drag it out to your desktop. And once you get done doing that, go ahead and close out of your internet um, um, browser. All right, now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this scene manager. Go ahead and click on um, the scene manager rim wire. And I always open up the rim wire. And then go ahead and click on the Grand Theft Auto 5. 
And what you need out here, let me split this up into two pages. And what you need out of here, and out of here only, is the plugins folder only. The input manager.dll is out of date because that was in back in January 24th of 2017. You do not need that one. Our, uh, our input manager.dll has been updated to the, cur to the current version. So you do not need this and you definitely do not need this rage native ui.dll. You do not need that. As you can tell, the date right here was August the 1st of 2021. You don't need that either. So you want to grab the plugins folder, bring it over here to your main directory. Make sure you're not highlight on the folder because if you do, you're going to mess up. If you don't know what you're doing, you got to have a good, nice buffer zone right here. And then one, two, three, drop it in like a fishing line, like you are fishing. And if you see this um, plugins folder turn in blue like that right there, that means you have done it right. All right, let's go ahead and just minimize. Don't close out. We'll go ahead and minimize out of your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. And go ahead and close out of this um, scene manager uh, rim wire. All right, now what you're going to do is go and come over here to your signs and barricades 1.0 dlc you're going to click on that and then go ahead and bring up your open fort all right i'm going to do mine a little different here i'm going to split this up here and then while you're at it go ahead and open up this read me text um, in your rim wire all right um, mine's already mine's already there because it takes so much time to open mine up and i don't understand why so Let's go ahead and open that up. And then while you're in your rim wire, go ahead and get the scene manager.ini. The scene manager.ini file. Whip it over here to your uh, desktop and let it file like that. And I'll show you what to do with that here in just a second. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to na navigate to our DLC pack. And how you going to do that is you're going to go to back over here to the open four, go to mods, go to update, time 64, DLC packs. Now mine's going to look a little different. Mine's going to look a little different from yours. All right. And if you, and one other thing, I keep on forgetting to say this. If, you, if you're not in edit mode and if you guys want to stay in edit mode, come over here to tools. Go to options right here where it says default work mode. Drop down that box, and if yours says read only, come up here and click on edit, and then close out, and you will always be in your um, edit mode in your open four. All right. So when you get done doing that, uh, mine uh, mine's gonna be a little different from yours. What you're gonna do is come back over here to your um, rim wire. And you're going to grab this PNW Signs folder. Bring it over here to your um, open four and then drop and then drop it in. And it should be down there. If you scroll down, yours should be down there on the main bottom until you refresh it. And it'll be all appetized. All right. And you'll see this PNW Signs. All right. Now, if you guys want to save your... DLC packs, go to favorites, go to add the favorites, and then name it whatever you guys want. I just simply name mine DLC packs. All right. So now let's go ahead. Now we got to navigate to our DLC list. Um, come over here to your, um, let's say, come back over here to your GTA 5 tab in your open four and just click on it one time. Now, let's go ahead and navigate to our DLC list. Um, go ahead and let's navigate to mods. Go to update. Update RPL. Common. And then data. And then scroll down here till you see the DLC list.xml. Left click on that one time and Hit right click and go to edit. Alright. Now scroll 
all the way down here to the bottom. And as you can tell, mine's already in here because I went in there and uh, test, tested it out and it works good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this line here and I'm going to show you all how to do this right here real quick. Give me just a second. Let me go to save on that. Now, let me get back into it. As you can tell, it is gone. Just like that. Now, you're going to click on the end item. right? Whatever that last item is. Go ahead and click on your mouse where it says item. Make sure, you're, make sure you are after the less than sign over here on your over here on your right go ahead and click enter one time that um, um the cursor should be underneath the greater than sign come down here to your ring main right here where it says dlc packs highlight that whole word right there from the greater than sign to the less than sign or what or some people may call it the left arrow to the to the right arrow make sure you highlight that right there you're going to right click and you're going to go to copy come back up here to your dlc list and open for um left click right click and go to paste that turns it on and off whatever you put in here in your dlc list and if it requires a dlc pack with the dlc list you can put the folder in there in your DLC, DLC packs, but you got to turn that on in your DLC list. I know it sounds a little crazy, but you know that's how I that's how I normally do it. So what we're going to do now is go down there and click on save. And if you guys want to go back in here and double check, make sure it's in here. All you got to do is. Just click on the dlc list and scroll all the way down here to the bottom and you will see that pnw signs so let's go ahead and close out of our um dlc list go ahead and close out of your let's say hang on go to file go to close all archives and then go to um your x button to close out your open four and go ahead and close out of your grimoire uh, signs of barricades and go ahead and close out of your remake <coughs> now you come back down here to your grand theft auto 5 and go ahead and re minimize your grand theft auto 5. all right now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our scene manager um configuration settings which is called the i and i file so go to plugins just like that and then scroll down here till you see that scene manager dot i and i all right it should be right there what we're going to do is um this signs and barricades i and i file that we put over we're going to merge this one into this one so it can also read the sign, the signs of barricades I and I too. All we're doing is merging it. So you're gonna grab this um, file that you put on your desktop, whip it over here to your I, to your um, plugins folder. Your pathway should be Graphite Auto Five and plugins. Whip it over here to your um, plugins folder. And then drop it in, and it's going to ask you to replace the designation and the name file. Just go ahead and replace it. All right. Now let's go ahead and refresh the plugin um, plugin folder, and go ahead and click on the Scene Manager I and I file. And you see what I'm see what I mean about it taking so long. I don't understand that. Um, I even uh, done a reboot re re boot on my computer and it does the same thing it must must be that all right so let me go ahead and make this one big now right here this is your uh, default your your default used to open up your scene manager menu default st all right i want to change you can 
you can go whatever you want. Just make sure you're not clashing on one of your um def uh, on your default keys that you've actually changed. So I'm gonna change that default key to mine to F9. Cause I ain't got nothing in F I'm sorry, I do too. It's gonna be F10. Mine's gonna be F10. And down here where it says toggle key equals team, make sure you make sure that is reading the same thing. Alright. So make so whatever you change your key to, like um I've changed mine over to F10 and make sure you change this over to F10. Now, now down here where it says modifier key, um, on the modifier key is left ship, which is right here. Modifier key equals left ship. You can leave that if you want to, but me, I don't like I don't like using a uh, modifier key that much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight that uh, left ship key. Now I'm gonna type in the capital N O N E for none. And if you guys want to, go ahead and highlight this none and then right click and go to copy. Alright, now this is for now the next line down here is for controller controller. Alright, button used to open up scene manager. Uh default default is A. I wanna I'm gonna change I'm gonna change that A. I want to hit left control V's and Victor for none because I try to keep much, uh, much off my controller as possible. And then down here below it where it says toggle button A, highlight that, hit left control V's and Victor for none if you're following me. Or you can, or you can just leave it. Okay, down here, modifier key. Um, modifier key for the controller. Modifier button d pad down if you guys want to change it d pad down highlight it hit left control v's and victor for none okay and then the rest of this is good the rest of this we can change in game as well so there is no problems with that and let's go ahead and if you made any changes on here go ahead and click on file click on save and simply just close out and then close out of your main directory. All right, now there's one more step we got to take. Since we have installed the Signs of Barricades DLC pack and and turned on the D, the Signs of Barricades um, in the DLC list, I recommend everybody to go and restart your computers. <coughs> Because I've all I've, I've always said that from the beginning, it gives us a refresh and a reboot on you know on something like that. Because Open Four is unforgiving on asking anything about taking anything out, putting anything in. If you want to overwrite, it don't ask you that like it does on regular Windows. I don't understand why. So. So go ahead and restart your computers. There's one more step we gotta take in, and then it is 1:16 p.m. on the Tuesday, December 5th. I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer, and I will be back momentarily. All right, welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. It is 2:01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on december the 5th 2023 and and what we're going to do now on this last step is if you come down here to the rage plugin hook and then go ahead and click on it and then left ship on your uh, keyboard and that should pop up your settings on your rage doing that go ahead and navigate over to your plugins folder and scroll down here till you see the scene manager. Alright. Once you see that, if it's unchecked, go ahead and check it. That is a standard alone plugin. That is a standard alone plugin. And then go ahead and save and launch. And while it is saving and launching, I I wanna I'm gonna show you all something here real quick that's been popping up on me. I don't know about you all. <coughs> as it 
connected up with the Rockstar Games. I appreciate you all coming in here and watching this uh, tutorial on um, on this. And right here where it says Rockstar Game Watcher will no longer support Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 starting January um, the 30th of 2024. So keep that, you might want to keep that in mind, all right? So it's no longer going to support the Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. So, I just, wanted, I just wanted to get that out there. And then once my game gets loaded in, and and on where I'm wanting to go for this in-game showcase, we'll get right into it. And I will see you all here in just a second. Welcome back in to the in-game showcase of the Scene Manager 2.3.3 and the Barricades and Signs 1.0 and I appreciate you all coming in here to look at this um, video. I appreciate the 73 subscribers up on this recording. You guys is the awesome ones. I appreciate it 110% and and if you're new here, go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, hit that uh, like button. Um, let me know how I am doing in a comment. And if you want to see more tutorials like this and LSPDFR episodes, um, click that uh, subscribe button, click all, and you know when I'll do another. And let's go ahead and jump right into this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how this plugin works and then we're going to go into step by step on how to lay it out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring up my menu in the scene manager here and and the first thing we're going to look at here is the speed zone radius right here that little yellow shade right there um, you see right there that is your speed zone radius. All right, your AI traffic is going to respond to this AI radius at the speed of 15 miles an hour right there. All right, and then once it comes up on that, and then it's going to enter in this blue circle, which is called the collection radius. Now, once it enters here, it's going to it's going to tell this AI traffic. Hey, there's this is the way I want you to go. It's pretty much well traffic control, pretty much, and you get to control how your AI traffic goes in and out of um, the lanes that you have create that created a path for them. All right. So, so what they're going to do is they're going to hit this um, um, collection radius. And then they're going to go up here to the first green circle, which is called your uh, waypoint. And and they're going to follow this path right here. All right. And then as you can see, it turns off right here into the into the into the sand over here on your right, because well, I'm going to I'm going to treat this like an accident right here at these red lights on East Joshua Road. Um. Now, yours may look like stop signs, all right? But I got mine. Um, I'm, I'm using I'm using a plug-in for the red lights in, uh, in Sandy Shores. In it, and some in Blaine County, too, as well. And that's what these red lights is. So I'm going to treat this like an accident. And then they're going to mm -hmm. cut right. You got that road part right there closed. And you're going to turn right right here on this Sandy Road here. <coughs> like that right there and they're going to turn right again right here and when they get up here to this last waypoint right here and they're going to pick up normal speed from there so that's how that's how that's going that's how that works now the traffic that's coming down this way right here is going to is going to remain the same right here they're going to stop these red lights and they're going to turn and stuff like that and then you t and then the, and the and the people coming down 
onto, I believe it's West Joshua Road right here. They're going to they're gonna do the same thing because this is not set up to, you ain't got, I ain't got this set up here on where they're following the same traffic right here. So what we're going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this. I'm going to pull off here. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete it here. And I'm going to show you all how I did it real quick. All right, so give me just a minute here. All right, so this is so this is this is how this works right here. You don't come up on the road here like this right here, and any road you do this anywhere. All right, and if you made any changes to your I and I as far as your menu key. Um, go ahead and hit your menu key, but if you kept it as default, it's going to be left shift and the letter T's and Tom. Mine's going to be the F10 button. Alright, so, and then you're going to go to where it says manage paths and create a new path. Alright, that's going to that's going to bring up these two circles right here. Not, not, now, the speed zone radius is what I started out with. You're going to take your um, left, D-pad left on your controller, D-pad left, and that is that is going to shrink, that's going to definitely shrink in it. You do not want that at 200, so you'll never, they'll never see it. So, use your D-pad right on your computer, and you're just going to move that up just like that right there, and move it down forward, all right? And then whatever you got, whatever you got to set that at, Come down here to waypoint speed, and then whatever limit you want it on, just 35, 40 miles an hour. The speed limit's 50, but you got that uh, accident up there. So I'm going to move my down to about 15 miles an hour right there. And then we go down here to add a waypoint, and you're just going to go ahead and start um, adding your traffic on what way you want them to go. All right. Now, usually I start right here in the circle, but you can all, always start um, back on where where I just walked up at. But where I'm OCD, pretty much, you can uh, start this any, anywhere. I like to start in the circle. And then when you do that, all you got to do is hit A on your um, control on your controller, and just and just walk up like this right here, and just and just keep walking now this other radius zone right here is going to read the same thing too so you don't have to change anything to that and then once you get up here to the point that you want them to turn all you got to do is take your uh, your right uh, joystick and just kind of move it right and it'll, it'll move, move right with you if you move up on it It'll, it'll move up and if you move down on it, it'll just move down and then move left. So, um, I'm going to put mine about right there and then I'm just going to walk up and then put another one there. Put another one there. Now, let me show you guys something. This is, this is another thing too. Say like you actually made a mistake. Sound like you made a mistake. You want them to go into the bushes, and you made a mistake. Come down here to where it says "Remove Last Waypoint," and then that will take it away right there. And then go back up to Add Waypoint, and then you can uh, continue from there. So, and then I'm gonna have mine to end about right, about one more down. I'm gonna have mine to end the same way I was going to there a minute ago. And I'm going to end it about right there. Now, and then once you get done creating your own path um, as your heart, is whatever path you want, um, you, your heart desires on, come down here and click on end path creation. And if you tell right there on your mini map, it's going to be, um, it's going to be on your mini map right there. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up here to my vehicle and then I'm gonna turn on the um, pads and cars back on by using my simple trainer. 
real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test this out here. And I'm gonna use my lidar gun for this too as well. And give me just a minute here. Um, enable, disable cars, disable pads, and that should be that should be starting to move here in just a second, I believe. Yep, here comes one right here. Now, let me show you something else, too. Well, as they're coming down this way, too, they're going to realize there is a path. There, there's that speed zone radius right there, too, as well. See, see how he slowed down real quick? They're going to realize that right there. Here comes a vehicle right here just entering the radar zone. And that van's going... 15 miles an hour now watch you turn right right there now they won't um, now they won't um, um, go any anywhere else besides that one path right here all right so that one path that you created on all right now I'm gonna zoom my radar going up there's one going 15 and let's follow it that one and then, see, just like that right there. All right, now here comes another vehicle right here. He is going 27, but once he gets in that radius zone, he drops down to 15, he drops in that circle, and then he's following the path that I created for him, for him, to, for him to turn on. So, I mean, I think this is, what, I, I, this is an awesome plug-in really is i really do i really do love this plug-in see that one's going 21 and watch him tremendously slow down right about now 15 miles an hour all right now let me show you show you guys something else real quick now we're going to manage barriers here all right and it gives you a bunch of hints too the shadow barrier will disappear if you aim it too far away so you got your let me see, right. see right here you got your large cone stripe you got a large cone you got a medium cone stripe medium cone you got your flare you got your flare right there and you got your other um, skinny cones what I call it and there's your police barricade right there and and then you got a and then you got a uh, um a regular construction zone site. There's a work work barrier. That one says street closed. That one says street closed on it. Now you can rotate this too. It's right there where it says rotate barrier. You can you can rotate it and get that set up any way you want to. And let's go up here to where it says closed sidewalk. Then you got your large cone right there, which is the barrel you see. On the interstates, most of the time, in construction zones, you got your road barrier, you got a small barricade, and there's one right there that says work, uh, road work ahead, and there should be, that's the one with the lights there, <clears throat> you got a, D. then you got the detour signs, <clears throat> you got your uh, work, Work crew, utility crew, pretty much. Um, that's what we downloaded in our DLC packs. Pretty much, you got your uh, tow truck flag, you got a checkpoint. You got a stop sign right there with the two flags on it. And if I can, if I can find it here, I mean, there's all different kinds of. It. Let me bring this out here a little bit. And then you can actually change the texture on them. I don't know if you can change that one or not, but but this one right here, that's what I was looking for. The left arrow, um, the left arrow, and you got a right arrow right there. Alright? So let's go ahead and make this more sufficient here on where it's blinking. And then I want to put mine about right there. And then you, you can rotate it any way you want to, like that right there, at a 100 degree angle, 120, 
and you can go all the way up to 180 to you know 360 you can, you can go all around with this thing just get this thing set up and then once you get done doing that all you got to do is click on it belongs in path uh, no you don't either so just to, um, extra extra bearer weights you can make it uh, immobile or mobile and you can make it indestructible now and then once you get done doing that I think I'll do is quit back No, nope. all you gotta do is click A on your on that right there on the right arrow board. Click A on your controller, and that should set it up where you can actually add another one if you want to. But if you guys don't want to add another one, just completely back out of it. All right. So as you can tell, they you got your sign up, and the cars are still dropping. Now, let's see if these uh, other cars up here is actually stopped at these red lights, too. But they are opposed to. We'll just see, we'll just see what happens here. Here comes one right there. So, I mean, this is, I mean, this is an awesome plug-in. I do, I do love it. And it's going in my game again. I hope it goes into yours. So, there's one right there coming at and he does stop so look so ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for me i appreciate you all coming in to look at this uh rotate um signs and barriers and in the scene manager i and i even that cop slow down right there so guys that's going to do it for me i appreciate you all watching this and we will see you on the next one. And we are going, going, going.